I am Linda Colby, a member of the Elder Abuse Prevention Coalition uh, for Cape Cod and the islands. I deal primarily with residents over 80 years of age and make many home visits to residents who are homebound or have lost their driver's license and are unable to get out of their homes. Making a home visit can be very telling as to how they're taking care of themselves and their homes. Uh, I've met many hoarders doing home visits and am now running a group for hoarders at the Senior Center. Uh, it started out with running a course, a 16-week course called Buried in Treasures, which is one of the most successful treatments for people with a hoarding disorder. There are many forms of abuse, and most of us think of physical abuse, emotional abuse, uh, neglect. Uh, we do see neglect because many of our seniors are living here alone on Cape Cod. Their families are all over the country and they have been neglected. Uh, they have no one to do food shopping for them. Uh, we help them meet a lot of their needs in the community. Um, we have a pantry, a food pantry in Yarmouth, which residents use uh, uh, twice a month. We have a van that picks them up and takes them to do food shopping. Abandonment is something that I see uh, a lot of in the senior center. And financial abuse. I think it's most important that we all delegate a healthcare proxy. And that may not necessarily be a member of your family or one of your adult children. Even though we trust them, in the end, I think you have to be very careful about who you choose as your power of attorney and who you choose as your health care proxy. Uh, this is someone that you want to act in your interests of exactly what it is you want and your end of life care. And uh, sometimes turning all your assets over to your children can be a mistake. I've worked with many seniors who have just been relegated to going to a nursing home once they turn all their assets over to their adult children. So this is something that I think we all need to think about. Having a power of attorney might be better off uh, not being a family member, but a, an attorney who you trust, who can make your, do the best for you in, in your end of life planning.